to southern Arizona, Florence State Prison, where we found someone authorities say is the most dangerous man on death row. Why then, we wonder, are some trying to save the man's life, despite the risk to themselves, and despite the man's insistence that he wants to hurry up with his execution? He scares me. That's why I stay on my toes. Even when I'm at home, I'm thinking about it. He's known as the worst of the worst on Arizona's death row. Anyone who sees inmate number 67121 is required to wear a knife-proof vest and spit-proof goggles. Even from inside one of the most secure prison blocks in America, kidnapper, rapist, and murderer Robert Charles Comer is still considered a threat. His ability to fashion weapons from virtually any material whatsoever and his demonstrated willingness to employ those weapons either against other inmates or of greater concern to us against our staff is well documented. Steel shanks carved out of a desk with the flint from a disposable cigarette lighter. Comer said he planned to carve up his lawyer with them. A rope strength noose woven with toilet tissue. Officers found it before he could use it on a fellow inmate. A makeshift club hard enough to crush a skull. Comer made it by peeling paint from his cell wall and forming the flakes with saliva. Every day, officers search his cell for evidence he might be making another weapon. That's his philosophy. Is it's, it's a game. He bases it on a game. Uh, he tries to beat us. Comer has even inscribed names on some of his weapons. Bonsai, the nickname of a fellow death row inmate, executed here two years ago this month. That's Bonsai 1. This is Bonsai 3. It is Bonsai 2 that makes Comer such a threat. No one at this prison has ever found it. Robert Charles Comer made his last public appearance strapped to a wheelchair wearing nothing but a sheet, subdued after staging a one-man riot at the county jail. The convicted kidnapper, rapist, and murderer got the death sentence, while two of his many victims watched. Thirteen years later, Comer says he's ready to die for his crimes and has asked the court to waive his appeals. It doesn't surprise me. Death penalty opponents are trying to save the condemned man's life. I've seen a number of inmates who have had this feeling that the choice between life and death is, is uh, not all of that meaningful any longer. Experts say this career criminal knows exactly what he's doing. He's very calculating. He, he just likes to dangle people on a string. He has both stated and demonstrated that he is willing to attack and kill someone if presented with that opportunity. Prison officials say a federal judge may have given Comer that opportunity, ordering the prison to let Comer's lawyer meet with him face to face. There's a lot of individuals who's, who's helped and safety are going to be in jeopardy because of that, you know, as far as I'm concerned, that selfish request. Officials here say they hope the judge will change the order before the most dangerous man in Arizona adds to his list of victims. In Florence, Arizona, John Dupree, Fox News.